everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are going to make three puff pastry appetizers just in time for New Year's Eve. Let's go see how these all come together. We are going to make some really retro appetizers using puff pastry three ways. The pep this is the Pepperidge Farm puff pastry. This is all I have available to me in my area. And I wanted to make this video super easy to where you could just go to the grocery store, pick up what you need, go home and make these. You don't have to make any of these components. You can just purchase them and put them all together for a really amazing trio of appetizers. I have a package of puff pastry sheets, which we're gonna be making pigs in a blanket, um, little brie and apricot bites. So it's gonna be like a baked brie en croute, um, but in a little mini cup form. And then we're gonna be using these puff pastry cups and we're gonna fill them with spinach and artichoke dip for a really delicious pickup. So what we're gonna need for our pigs in a blanket are the puff pastry sheets along with some cocktail wieners. These are just all beef little smokies, easy to find in your grocery store. We're gonna be using some brie cheese that I've cut into to cubes along with some really nice apricot jam. And these are gonna be for our brie and apricot bites. You can feel free to substitute raspberry jam or some of that leftover cranberry sauce that you have in your fridge from Christmas. That will be perfect. And then for these pastry cups, we're gonna use some spinach artichoke dip. I found a really great and tasty brand at the grocery store in the deli section, and we're gonna be using this. You can also feel free to make your own, or if you did make your own over Christmas and have some left over, go ahead and use it. It's a great way to get rid of it. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, because this is the easiest one, is we're gonna make the spinach and artichoke bites. These are the little puff pastry cups. These come in a package of 24, and they come in a strip. They come in four strips of six, so you have to cut them apart with a sharp knife. Puff pastry loves to be cold. Okay, so you wanna make sure, I laid this out. First off, you have to take the puff pastry and you have to thaw it in your fridge because it comes frozen. You wanna do that overnight. When you take it out of the refrigerator, you wanna let it sit on the counter for about a half an hour because you want it to be pliable. Then you're gonna cut these apart and then we're gonna fill them. And I just have the tiniest little scoop and we're just gonna pop these on here. But then we're gonna pop these back in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes before we put them in our ultra hot oven. Puff pastry likes to be baked cold in a really hot oven. So keep that in mind. If you wanna get the ultimate puff to your appetizers, you're gonna to wanna to follow those rules. You can see how these have a little circle indented in the bottom. What's gonna happen is that's gonna allow the sides to cook up like a little cup, and those flaky layers are going to just kind of bake right around this dip. So these are going in the fridge, and I'll be right back, and we'll do up the pigs in a blanket. I went ahead and I got my sheet out. I thawed it out in the fridge. I let it sit on the counter for half an hour. I unfolded it onto a piece of parchment paper on which I sprinkled some flour, and then I sprinkled flour on the top, and I put another piece of parchment paper on the top, I put it on a cookie sheet and put it back in the fridge because you wanna really work with this cold. So I'm gonna just take my rolling pin and I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a roll. For my pigs in a blanket, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to do a couple of strips here. Doesn't matter if they're perfect. And then I'm gonna cut this into thirds so you'll have an easy mark there because this actually was folded into thirds. For the rest of these, I'm gonna cut these into squares that are a little bit wider because these I'm gonna put in mini muffin tins. This is super easy. Just take a strip, these little smokies I took out of the package and I put them on paper towels and I blotted them dry. So you're gonna wanna do that because if they're wet, this puff pastry is not going to wanna stick to them. You're gonna wanna put them seam down on your baking sheet and I have one waiting off to the side. Well, one of the reasons that we're making these pigs in a blanket is because Rick and I were looking for some pigs in a blanket not too long ago and I know that I used to buy them in the grocery store freezer and went to buy some and they were literally $13 a box and I'm like, oh heck no. <laughs> Oh, heck no. Um, so 
we're making them here and I thought, you know, this would make a great appetizer video for you guys. So that's why we're doing it. And who doesn't love a pigs in a blanket? Who just doesn't love this? Because everybody loves a pig in a blanket. All right, I'm gonna go finish these off. Okay, I got all of the pigs in a blanket ready. They're in the fridge chilling. And what I've done is I've taken the squares and I've placed each of them in one of the mini muffin tin cavities in my mini muffin pan. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a little piece of brie like that and a little bit of apricot jam right on the top and we're just gonna continue our way down the line. And you can just adjust these pieces of cheese. And it doesn't matter if you leave the, um, the rind on the brie, it's all gonna be fine. Little bit of apricot jam. The brie is gonna melt and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. It's gonna be like a little bitty baked brie bite and it's gonna be fantastic. So let me finish these up and I'll be right back. Okay, I have finished making all of the uh, apricot and brie bites and these now are gonna go in the fridge for about 20 minutes before we bake them off Once these are done chilling they can go in the oven It's gonna take 18 to 20 minutes for these to be done for the pastry to puff and bake all the way through You want to make sure that your pastry is not soggy on the bottom because there's nothing worse than soggy puff pastry. You, it's gummy and gross and you just don't want that. You want it to be crisp and you want it to shatter and you want it to be delicious and melt in your mouth. These are going in for the chill and we'll be back when it's time to bake these off. These um, spinach and artichoke cups are ready to go in the oven. They have chilled and they're perfectly, you know, ready to go. So what you wanna do first before you bake them off in your 400 degree oven, make sure that you preheat your oven for a nice long time, okay? Because puff pastry is activated by the heat and it will puff almost instantly once you put it in there. So you wanna go ahead and get a beaten egg with just about a tablespoon of water added. Beat it up really well. And then take your pastry brush and just brush the edges of these little cups. This is gonna give them a beautiful shine and they're gonna look perfect when they come out of the oven. Okay, so here we go into the oven, 18 to 20 minutes. I'll be back when they're ready and I'll show you what they look like. Our pigs in a blanket, they have been chilling and they're ready to go in the oven. Um, we're just gonna pop these in there right next to our little spinach and artichoke cups. So make sure that you egg wash these as well. You can also add poppy seeds or sesame seeds to these if you like. That makes a nice little combination. These are gonna go in the oven again, 400 degrees, 18 to 20 minutes until the puff pastry is golden brown and crispy. And when these are done, I'll be back and I'll show you what they look like. All right, our apricot and brie bites have been in the refrigerator chilling for about 20 minutes. And I did go ahead the best that I could and I just ran my brush with the egg wash around the edges. These in the oven, 18 to 20 minutes until they're brown, puffy, crispy, and delicious. And when we come back, I'll show you what all of these three beautiful puff pastry appetizers look like. Well, there you have it. Our puff pastry appetizers right out of the oven, ready to enjoy for New Year's Eve or any time. These would be great. Super Bowl's coming up. If you're gonna have friends over for a game night, these go together super fast and you can always have the ingredients on hand and you know you'll be ready to make them. They'd be great for Wednesday. They'd be great for Wednesday, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. So what we have here are our spinach and artichoke cups our pigs in a blanket, and our apricot and brie bites. And these are super delicious. Now, one thing I will say, when you make them in your mini muffin tin, make sure that you spray them with some vegetable cooking spray because the jam will bake over and it will get sticky and they may be a little bit of a challenge to get out, but I promise you, they're totally worth it. So, what do you want to taste? The spinach. Okay. And they're perfect. They're just a mouthful and you don't even have to worry about it. They're pick up and eat it and it's perfect. Oh, Isn't that good? good? Oh, yeah. So good. And you just used really good quality pre-made spinach artichoke dip and these puff pastry cups. How easy is that? You all know what a pig in a blanket tastes like. You can uh, serve this with a dipping sauce, a honey mustard, some ketchup on the side, maybe some cranberry ketchup. You can take your leftover cranberry sauce and mix it with a little tomato ketchup or chili sauce and use it as a great dip. And then the brie bites. Did you want to taste one of these? Okay, so here. I think these brie bites are spectacular. 
They have everything. They're crispy. They shatter when you bite into them. They have a little bit of creamy cheesiness and then a little sweetness from the jam. And they're just really, really good. And really, really simple. You didn't have to go out of your way to make a ton of ingredients to make these happen. You just had to put together some simple ingredients to make them happen. And everyone is going to love them. So that is how you make puff pastry appetizers three ways. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you are new to my kitchen, welcome. Always a pleasure to have you join me. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and as always if you are tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family be sure and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you continue to come by and visit me in the new year because I have some really great plans for you in 2019 and I hope that you'll enjoy them as much as I am going to enjoy bringing them to you. So, Happy New Year and until next time, I'll see ya.